Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to track button clicks using Google Analytics 4. So let's get started. The first thing is you need to have your Google Tag Manager installed on your website. If you don't know what Google Tag Manager is, don't worry, I have a video on my YouTube channel on how to set up Google Tag Manager. But the, that's the main key requirement is that you need to have Google Tag Manager installed. Now, for this demo or for this tutorial, I'm going to be giving an actual, I'm going to be taking an actual example. So on my, so this, this is my website and on my website, I have a, I have a page called as free tutorials and I have a button called as view courses. Now I want to track how many people are clicking on this button and I want to see that data in Google Analytics 4. So to do that, the first thing is you need to go into Google Tag Manager and in your case it might be any button, right? It can be a submit button, it can be a subscribe or anything else. You need to first enable click variables. That's absolutely critical. That's the first step. So to do that, you need to go to variables and click on configure and as you scroll down in your case all of them would have been unchecked you need to check all of these options so make sure that you check click elements click classes click id click target click url and click text right make sure that you check all of them and once you do that hit submit and publish it so that way you know those changes are reflected right that's the first step. The next thing is you need to hit preview and visit your website. With preview mode, I'm going to stop my preview for a second so that I can show you from scratch. So hit preview and then go to the page where that button is. Now in my case, the the button is on the tutorials page so i'm gonna basically copy this and then i'm gonna paste it over here and then i'm gonna hit connect so what google tag manager is gonna do is it's gonna open that page in a new tab right and then once the page loads damn it my website is slow all right anyways my once the page loads um you can then click on that button so let's see, I'm going to hit refresh one more time. I don't know what's going on. Come on. I think, I think, uh, oh, finish. Oops. Sorry. This is not going as I expected. Uh, hit preview. Hit connect. It's going to open the page in the new tab. Only if this thing works. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay, so now that the page is working, I'm going to click on view courses. Okay, and what you need to do is go back to your tag assistant. And as you can see on the left hand side, there is a click event that you can see over here. So click on this click event and you will then get additional data about that click. So remember we had enabled variables, right? So go to the variable section and then this is where you'll be able to see all the data about that click activity. So in this case, the click text was view courses. And if you, if I go back to the website, yes, it is view courses. So that's a pretty important factor over here. So that way you can uniquely identify what button are you clicking, right? In my case, click, I don't have any click ID. The click URL is on this page. Uh, the click element is a string, which is pretty um, pretty big. So there's no point in using that. And then click class is this. So uh, we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that we can uniquely identify that click so that we can then set up a custom event in Tag Manager and pass it on to Google Analytics 4, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna be using the click text as the variable. Okay, so I'm going to copy this for a second and I'm going to go back to tag manager and then I'm going to create a new trigger. So in this case, my new trigger is, um, view courses button click. That's my new trigger. 
right and then I hit uh, trigger configuration and I'm going to click on all elements and I don't want to track all clicks I just want to track um, the specific button which is view courses so I'm going to click on some clicks and I'm going to say the click text contains this and as you can see what am I doing over here I'm basically saying that trigger this activity trigger this event when the click text contains view courses that is exactly what I'm doing over here and then I'm gonna hit save all right now this has been configured now the final step is to create a tag to do that click on tags hit new and then I'm gonna say uh, view courses button click GA4 tag give a proper name so that your naming conventions are very uh, professional click on tag configuration choose Google Analytics GA4 event right and then click on Google Analytics for uh, your base your property basically and then you can name it anything but I'm gonna say it as um, view view courses underscore button click and under event parameters I'm gonna add a new row and basically I'm gonna say the parameter name is um, link underscore um, text uh, and the value is uh, hold on I think we can choose sorry it's click underscore text parameter name is click text and the value is sorry it's basically click underscore text click underscore text and the value is click text so then finally um, we don't need to worry about these settings over here and you just hit triggering and as you remember we had already created a new trigger for this so choose this option and then hit save and finally what you can do is you can hit you can actually preview it so I'm gonna hit preview one more time and I am going to go to the page in this case I'm gonna copy this paste the URL page is loading all right and then hit view courses okay so I've done the clicking part uh, and then hit continue and let's see okay there you go view courses button click GA4 tag right that is exactly what we want so now that your tag is firing properly it it's gonna pass on that data into Google Analytics okay so I'm gonna quickly pull up uh, my Google Analytics in a new screen I'm gonna go to my GA so give me just one second and I have that GA4 pulled up over here as you can see and I'm gonna go to explore um, sorry I'm gonna go to explore not explore I'm gonna go to admin and I'm gonna go to debug view and look at that view courses under button click that's the event that we just set up in tag manager and I'm able to track that as an event in Google Analytics 4 how cool is that so that's pretty much it now if you want further you know reporting what I would suggest is uh, under reports under events you should be able to see the new event that we just set up right it's gonna take 24 hours but you can see those events over here and then basically you will see like how many people are clicking on it what's the total users event count per user if there's a value that you want to attach to it you can at attach a value 
I published a video very recently on attaching a value to custom events. So you can do all sorts of things over here. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it guys. Sorry, in terms of, you know, tracking button clicks. I know there was a lot of back and forth that I had to do because that's how it is. GA4 is actually very complicated. Um, but it's a 15 minute job if done properly. And if you follow the steps that I showed, uh, you should be able to do it. Uh, as you can see, I did not pause the video anywhere. I did not edit it. This is a single shot video and it works. It works for sure. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.